so most people would probably concur that Huawei has struggled in the tech industry over the past few years. They had previously set out to dominate the smartphone market globally and were setting the standard for new models. However, a US ban has left them in difficulty. Huawei isn't giving up despite this. They intend to introduce the Mate 60 series. According to recent information, the new phone will have a new processor, as well as a feature called Spirit Island, that is comparable to what is in the iPhone 14 Pro. According to sources, Huawei is getting ready to bring back the punch hole in the form of a pill. The business is getting ready to once again separate the twin cameras and 3D to F sensors from the bezel with the Mate 60 series this autumn. The functionality was last seen in the Mate 40 and P40 ranges back in 2020. This will also be the first time Huawei introduces its version of the iPhone 14 Pro series, centrally located dual front camera. For Huawei flagships, having two cameras, one of which is a TOF sensor, is not a totally new feature. It has been around since the debut of the Mate 30 in 2019 and briefly appeared on the P series. The location has changed. In earlier Mate phones, it was either on the side or concealed by a full fledged notch making the most of the cutaway that few people considered aesthetically pleasant. Dynamic Island is a software feature that Apple released along with its most recent iPhone models. Huawei is anticipated to follow a similar course of action by optimizing and utilizing this somewhat unimportant space for users in the design of notifications and apps. So, initially, it was anticipated that the Huawei Mate 60 series will come equipped with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Premium chipset. However, according to recent reports, at least one of the models in the series would be driven by a chip that Huawei created on its own. This change in processor preference can be due to the ongoing US sanctions, which have made it extremely difficult for Huawei to get the required Qualcomm chip licenses. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Huawei Mate 60 series? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.